say it again. Think about role models in your own life and the people who provide you the, the inspiration to lead. As I was choosing a research topic, one person jumped to the top of my list. I, I, and at first I checked the internet, then I met with him. That's some questions of a man I already admire. But their interview really confirmed it. Former supervisor Dr. Nandi is that inspiring leader. Before, before I tell you more about the, on the man, here's the map of the large area he represented while he was in the Alley County Supervisor of the 4th District. This district serves over 2 million residents and includes the ports of Los Angeles, Long Beach, LAX, up to Diamond Bar, and up to Catalina. He was elected in 19, first in 1996 and continued to be re-elected five terms and retired in 2016. Before he was a supervisor, he served as a council member and then mayor of the city of Cerritos. While he was mayor in 1986, he led the city through an Aero-Mexico DC-9 plane crash in their community. There is no leadership training for such an ordeal. He got help from Governor Pete Wilson, federal and local officials, neighbors, friends, and especially his family, and strong faith helped them through this disaster. God said that experience taught him he can make it through anything. Experience are stepping stones for each next challenge. His role, his role as a leader was to listen and help people who came forward with, with problems. He always preferred to connect them with nonprofit organizations who could best partner and help. Because I know, and he's a man who walks the talk. I know this because I first met Don when he first did, uh, visited the Disabled Resource Center in Long Beach, a nonprofit organization where I volunteer. But now, let's go back even further. Don grew up in Rock Island, Illinois, where he and his family were active in church and community groups. And he learned at an early age to get over his shyness and public speaking due to playing music in front of group. He began his love for music when a door-to-door -door peddler came to his home with a pony offering music lessons. He loved the pony. <laughs> so he begged his parents to let him take lessons. But in fact, that began his love of music. Since then, he has been active in many bands playing the saxophone and clarinet. And he believed that he learned, he learned, that, no, he learned to think on his feet and improvise. Also in his youth, he played Little League and high school football and basketball. He attended Grace Adams College in Ohio. And during this time, his, move, his parents moved to California. Don began his interest in moving here as well. When one snowy college spring break, he visited his parents and enjoyed our beautiful sunny sky while playing golf with his father. Don Blee's family is very important in his life. After college, he served in the United States Navy. Then he took work at the same company as his father. In fact, it was where he met his wife, Julie, who delivered his father's mail to Don by mistake. <laughs> Don loves to tell stories and how he met his wife, which is one of many we shared that day. He recently celebrated his 50th wedding and anniversary with her, and is proud of his adult sons and several grandchildren. He says he could not have done his job in public service without their strong support. He declared, family is everything. <laughs> Dan loves the game of golf. He believes that in sport teaches respect, integrity, and character. This belief led to the development of the Don Kanabi Golf Center and Junior Academy in Norwalk. It's a public 
public dining hall tours with a driving range and soccer golf. Plus a community gym room where junior golf links are taught. He also created the uh, Premier High School golf program in his and event in his fourth fourth district, the Kanabi Cup, which is right in here. <coughs> Um, for this effort, because of this effort, the course was named after Don. This is where I interview with him, and I enjoy playing there too. As my primary special Olympic sport is golf, you can imagine I share Don's passion. The day after I, in fact, the day after I got home from the LA 2015 World Games, I was told I would get to play in the sports zone with Don in a tournament he sponsored yearly. He helped benefit Rancho de Los Amigos Real Education Center in Downing. And you may also have realized by now another connection I have with Don is that he has been a supporter of the Special Olympic Golf Program. He was a sponsor of the Summer Game Golf Tournament over the years, and I got to see him when I, quali when I qualified to be in those games too. He was a He's also a supporter of fundraising and event and has known Rachel Johnson through their work on the LA College Commission. And he is pleased to learn about our leadership program as Global Messenger. In fact, John told me that he's inspired by all of athletes in, in, the, in Special Olympics. In addition to other leadership accomplishments, he's very proud of helping create the Los Angeles Safe Surrender Program. Parents can drop off a baby at any public places and not share their personal information. It began 2001 when baby Andrew was found in a dumpster in his district. They have since saved, and saved over 157 babies and their motto, no name, no shame, and no blame. He also is proud of raising the visibility of the annual LA County Memorial Mass Burial Service for up to 3,000 individuals yearly who are homeless, unknown, or their families cannot afford the services. Supervisor Kanabi is honored to be recognized in many ways for his leadership. He has a, he, he's a major supporter of the veteran rights and has had a helicopter named after him. He also helped get an 86-acre county landfill cleaned up to build a regional park. So they named it in tribute to him. He holds, and he holds a very special place in his heart for the naming of the Hanabi Wellness Center and Tower in his honor at the Los Angeles Rehabilitation Center. And of course, let's not forget the Hanabi Golf Center. You have, you, you know, I look up to Don Kanabi as an inspirational leader, so I asked him who he looks up to. He told me he's had me respect and has become friends with the former California governor, George Duke Majin, who is also a successful leader and who recently passed away. Don thinks that everyone should pick <coughs> someone that they admire, get to know them, they in the survey and you'll learn by, mis by example. The common thing throughout his life has his life is one of leadership in good times and the bad. Don told me, no book provides you guidance on how to lead in tough situations and you're facing a new obstacle. You have just moved forward and know it will be life changing, life growing. Hope you enjoyed learning about former, uh, about former supervisor Kanabi. He's a good friend, and I think you will agree. He provides us with a great inspiration to lead. Thank you.